Technology Brad here guys. Today I wanted to give you kind of a guided tour of the Wall Street Journal app for the iPad. And uh, it's, uh, you know, one of the bigger newspaper apps out there. Um, it has a subscription service. You can subscribe to the newspaper, get uh, every issue. Um, when you open the app, it kind of looks like this. If this first time you go in, it'll have a little box down here for you to, you know, go ahead and register, sign up. You can sign up just for a free account, and that'll give you access to several different things. Um, first of all, you can see it uh, does go back issues for seven days. Um, one thing to note is see all these little keys right here. Um, that, what that's telling you is you're not an actual subscriber of the Wall Street Journal. You're, you're logged in under a free account, so you're not going to be able to access those. However, you can access today's newspaper, and you can access you know, the now edition of the Wall Street Journal. Um, but even still, you're not going to get the full... Uh, version of the Wall Street Journal as I'll show you here you open up uh, on the main page here it's gonna show you you know you have all your you know your nice article layout uh, but you see these little keys here and here and you know over here in these different articles what that means is whenever I click on that article it's gonna bring up a menu it's gonna tell me you know hey subscriber content preview blah 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 become a f subscriber and you know you can get every single article um, but, you know, throughout the, the whole app, I mean, some of them are locked, locked. This one's not locked, not locked. I'm not sure what determines whether it's locked or not. Um, but some articles are locked and some of them aren't. And um, But uh, I just wanted to show you, if you are using a free account, you still can get in there and read some of the articles. You can still save articles. You can't save entire sections. Uh, but let me go ahead and log out of here real quick, and I'll log into uh, my other account and uh, show you the full application. So we're going to log out of here. And this is the box I was talking about before uh, that pops up. It's going to ask you, you can subscribe now, register for free, and log in. So let me go ahead and log in real quick, pull this off here. So give me just a second. Type in my username and password. Okay, so now we are fully logged in. Now, whenever I signed up for free, I got email from the Wall Street Journal actually offering a fifty-nine dollar, uh, you know, introductory price for an entire year, and. Um, with that, you also got two weeks free. So the seventeen ninety nine a month thing that they're talking about, um, you know, just go ahead and register for free. Wait for an email. See what kind of offers they send your way. Fifty nine dollars a year is not bad for a newspaper subscription. My local newspaper uh, is well over a hundred dollars for a yearly fee. So uh, for this app, I really liked it. I enjoy perusing it kind of every day. So fifty nine dollars is uh, not too bad of a deal. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into today's printed version and open that up and you can see all of the keys have gone away and now when I go ahead and open up this article I can go ahead and read the full thing now when you're in uh, you're holding the iPad in uh, portrait style uh, as opposed to landscape you've got uh, you know more articles on the side that you can jump to real quick say if you want to go ahead and read about uh, let's see currencies key to growth let's go ahead and click on that and it's going to take us right to that article and as you can see there's the new hundred dollar bill that's going to debut uh, early next year in the bottom left hand corner you do have an ad if you want to pop it up you can read it yourself it'll pop up on its own usually right inside uh, certain articles as you can see here this has a button for images and for video and if i want to go ahead and watch a video just go ahead and click play and the video is going to go ahead and queue up and play right inside my newspaper as you see here and then of course if you want to go ahead and expand it to the full screen you can also change it to landscape and watch it that way according to the international monetary fund let's go ahead and put it back and we'll shrink it back down and so that's a video right inside the newspaper pretty cool feature uh, same thing with images you can go ahead and click this little plus here and it's going to bring up the images if there was more images you could scroll back and forth of course there's only one in this article uh, but as you read the article it says down here it's page one of three and if i want to go ahead on to page two i just simply pull it across it's going to pop up an ad on occasion they don't stay up there very long uh, so i don't mind that too much a lot of people do complain about that but to me that's really no big deal um, so you just go ahead and continue reading the article, and uh, once you're done reading the article, you sort of 
pinch it, and then it goes away. Um, at the bottom here, you do have a couple things. You have a, a tool menu where you can save the section. You do have sections, you know, you can jump immediately. Let's say we want to go to personal journal, and it's going to jump right to it. Um, once you're in the article, let's take a look and see what, uh, if once you click on the tools, um, you can save the article, email it, you can uh, change the text size and uh, to small, standard, or large. And this one actually has video images or a slideshow since there's more than one image. And uh, looks like I accidentally clicked video, but you click on the images, click the plus, and you can, I guess you can't slide back and forth. I guess you can do the slideshow. But, um, so that's basically it in the uh, tool menu. There's not much there. You can save the article or email the article. And then, of course, you can um, save entire sections. Um, so let's jump back to the front page here. And uh, just to show you, if you do want to go ahead and do landscape mode, um, it's going to completely change the layout for you, customize for the uh, landscape. Uh, I personally, uh, I started using it in landscape mode, and then uh, all of a sudden I had switched it to portrait mode. And I was like, wow, it really looks a lot more like a uh, real newspaper with it in portrait mode. Um, so you can completely flip through the entire edition, just scrolling from one page to the next, seeing different articles. Uh, if I find one I want to uh, read as I'm going through well see that's sometimes it is a little bit sensitive when you're just trying to grab and scroll if you if you're not quick enough moving your finger it'll go ahead and open up the article um, there are ads here and there but you can scroll right past it you see it's just I mean it as long as it takes you to swipe your finger you're out of there uh, so let's say I want to read this article I can just just like anywhere else in the magazine pull it up when I'm done with it I can go ahead and swipe it closed and just keep flipping on through the newspaper. Again, another ad, you go right past it. Uh, AT&T looks beyond the iPhone for growth as uh, they probably should be right now looking for uh, some kind of other plan as uh, other uh, carriers get their hands on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and save uh, a, an entire section here just for kicks and see how, see how that works, how long that takes. And uh, I just clicked it and it should be done. I go down into save sections, bam, there it is. And uh, the reason you can do that is um, if you want to save entire sections for offline viewing, say you're, um, well, hell, I don't know why you would save them. I guess if you just want to keep them around for a while because once you download um, the newspaper, I'm pretty sure you can read it at any time whether you're connected to the Internet or not except for uh, videos and stuff like that won't work uh, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Um, let's see. You can click down here next. It'll go to the next page for you if you don't want to swipe. I don't see why you wouldn't want to swipe. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, I just want to give you a, a quick overview, just show you the app itself. If you're curious about it, you want to see what uh, what you can do with it, if it's uh, any different. Like, let's go ahead and save an article so you can hear how that goes. Uh, this is about the NFL. Let's say I want to go ahead and save uh, the article. Simply click it. It's going to save it to my journal. I can, it says choose a collection. Uh, I guess you can add different, uh, let's just do a quick save and uh, jump out of the issue here into saved articles. Um, you can check out most recent and you can check out your quick saves. But then you can click down here, customize. Did you know you can create custom folders, blah, blah, blah. I guess you have to go to uh, wallstreetjournal.com to customize your sections. I don't know why that's not included in the app. It really should be. Um, and then uh, my watch list. I haven't done any of this, but uh, you know, your any, any stocks or anything you want to keep an eye on, I guess you can do that here. Um, you know, say you want to check out the NASDAQ, click on that. It's going to bring up you know information here. Um, let's say you want to check out just certain futures, bonds, currencies. And uh, it looks like you can edit that as well. Probably, again, online. I'm not really sure. I haven't messed with that too much. Uh, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you. You can also go. They do have a Now edition that uh, updates pretty much every half hour. And uh, gives you all the most up-to-date stories, uh, just like you would find on the WallStreetJournal.com. Uh, but that's it, guys, for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give it the, the old thumbs up. Um, I try to be uh, try to show you as much as possible on it. Uh, that's the Wall Street Journal app, guys. I'm Technology Brat. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter.com/slash/TechnologyBrat. 
And uh, giveaways coming soon, and take it easy.